My name is Ken Smith. I'm the Executive Director of Environmental Health and Safety with the University of California. And I've been working not only for the university for 24 years in environmental health and safety, but have been spending a, a large portion of that time working in research safety. When we started our journey looking for laboratory codes, we recognized years ago that there wasn't a fabric that could do multiple levels of protection. We had to choose either between a lab coat that provided a high degree of uh, flame protection uh, versus a coat, like many lab coats that are out there, that only provided minimal chemical level of protection. Currently, we're addressing splash hazards by a number of areas, and it's usually with an extra layer of protection that's worn. So for instance, an apron that's worn over the lab coat or a face shield that's worn over the face. The more layers there are to that protection, the more likely there's going to be a point of failure. So the more that we can streamline and provide one form of protective equipment that can cover multiple hazards, the better. I think that there's a need to balance comfort, wearability, and flexibility in the garments that we provide our bench researchers and our bench chemists. And I think the product that I've seen here is one that uh, carefully balances those. What this does is it, is it elevates the baseline protection that's afforded to all laboratory workers. With these coats, we'll have an assurance of flame-resistant protection or FR protection, and we'll also have a higher level of, of protection against uh, inadvertent chemical contact, something that's been uh, missing in all the lab coats we've evaluated today.